So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Kind of a rainy, dreary type of day here today, but it is starting to clear up. I think the rain's gone, and uh, this weekend looks pretty decent. But anyway, I'm headed over to Ohio right now. I bought a trailer that I can pull behind the new grocery getter. Uh, it's just a 7,000 GVW, uh, like a landscape trailer. I, I've been needing something for a long time. You know, I'll be able to haul like the Ranger on it, the uh, Zero Turn. I could even haul the uh, RK24 on it. Uh, you probably legally, you could probably pull the RK37 and the trailer would be fine, but I'm not sure about the ramp set up on the back. I don't need to haul that anywhere anyways. Uh, but just kind of like a general use trailer to have around the property and if I need, you know, 16 foot building material or anything like that, it'll be pretty handy. It's like a uh, general duty, I think they call it. So it's not like a light duty trailer, it's not a heavy duty trailer, uh, but it should be pretty good for what I need. Yeah, I won't be using it that much. You know, there may be weeks where I use it three or four times and there may be times where I don't use it for a month, but uh, it'll be there when I need it. So we are headed to Bennett Trailer Sales over in Salem, Ohio right now. And uh, when we get there, I'll kind of show you around some of the other stuff that they have there. Get that trailer picked up, head home, and then uh, we're going to do some work at my neighbor's house. We may even start this evening on that. We'll see. Uh, it's so nice it stays light a little bit later now. It gets better every day. Uh, but anyway, that's it, and uh, we'll see you in a bit at Bennett Trailer Sales. Right, got the new trailer hooked up uh, we'll go over it when I get home take a little walk around here I'll show you some of the other trailers they have here at Bennett Nice and closed trailers. Horse trailers. Equipment trailers. All sorts of trailers here. They're really nice people to deal with here. And actually, Pat, the owner, has a uh, YouTube trailer called Trailer Pro. All one word. He only uploads in the uh, summertime. Spring and summer, I guess. Uh, it's all truck pulling videos. Well, that's a nice trailer. We'll head over and take a look at the dump trailers. They go pretty quick around here, I think. They sell a lot of them. These are the Mort's dump trailers. These are really nice. I mean, real nice trailers. I'm going to get one of these sometime. I'm not sure when. Maybe like a 12-footer. That's a big in there. They have people from all over 
uh, come here and buy trailers. There's a guy over there getting a horse trailer right now. He's from New York State. People from Pennsylvania, Jersey, Ohio, obviously, that's where they're located. Anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm going to get back on the road. I've got about an hour, hour and ten minutes to get home. And see if we can get anything done this evening. Over there is some uh, smaller, you know, like landscape trailers. This one here, I think, is like the light duty. I got the general duty one. It's a little bit uh, heavier. So that's it, Bennett Trailer Sales in Salem, Ohio. If you're looking for a trailer, give Pat a call. What's on the back? Trailer, what are you doing? I'm getting in the car. What'd you do? I was just coaching at CrossFit. How old are the kids that you coach? Four to six for this class. Four to six. The other class is 7 to 11. All right. How many days a week do you do that? Three days. All right. Well, you ready to go home? Yeah. Well, I made it home. Trailer pulled really nice on the way home. There were a few spots on the uh, turnpike that are a little bouncy. You know, it felt just a little bit different. But besides that, you didn't even really know it was back there. This is uh, 18 feet long. Something that's pretty nice here. Your wiring for all your uh, lights runs through this piece of channel right here. I've seen other trailers, you know, they run them right through the frame. Always problems. I think this should work a little bit better. Gate on the back. These are pretty heavy. These are, you know, reinforced here. But it's also spring assist. Should work good for what I need it for. I think I already mentioned it's 18 feet long. Should be pretty good. So in between the fenders, it measures just under seven feet, 83 inches, 82 and a half really. All right, it's Saturday morning now. Ramp's pretty nice with the uh, spring assist. I'm gonna run the Ranger on it, see how it fits on there and how it sits. Ranger fits good on there. Plenty of room actually in the back and the front. I think I would probably pull it ahead just a little bit more. Put a little bit more tongue weight on the truck. But yeah, works good for the Ranger. Now we'll try the uh, RK24. That guy's got a little bit of muffler issues there.
All right, now we'll try the RK24. Sometimes you have to be careful with the uh, subcompact tractors with the backhoe on it. When the front of the tractor is going up the ramps, the backhoe may want to drag a little bit on the ground. We'll see. It drug just a tiny little bit, not too bad at all. But I tell you what, anything much heavier than that, you would definitely want to uh, block up the back of the trailer and definitely make sure that you're not headed downhill and that you have your emergency brake set because it definitely uh, picked up on the back of the truck quite a bit. Should work out pretty well. With the backhoe on the tractor, you could probably even pull it up a little bit further, another couple inches, almost, you know, right up to the front of the trailer. Because the truck isn't really even squatting at all right now. I know I got some tongue weight on there, but uh, could probably handle a little bit more. All right, so like I said, the trailer's GVW is 7,000 pounds. Empty, I think it weighs about 2,500, something like, you know what, let me check. All right, the empty weight of the trailer is 2,350 pounds, so that would be, what, 4,650 pounds you could haul on that trailer legally. The RK24 with the backhoe and the loader weighs just under 3,000 pounds. And you know what? I found that information. Uh, remember I did that video the other day on Ask the RK Tractor Guy? I was able to find the weight of the backhoe, the loader, and the tractor all within like two minutes. And that's not always easy to do if you're looking up specs on tractors. I don't know why that information is not more readily available. But anyway, yeah, that's what the RK24, a little under 3,000 pounds. The Ranger, I think, is around 1,600, something like that. So this trailer should work out pretty good for what I need. The zero turn, no problem at all. And I like the fact that it's 18-foot uh, deck. That way, if you're hauling like 16-foot building material or something like that, it should work out really well. And the backhoe on the RK24 just drags a wee little bit. I kind of figured it would. All of them seem to. Uh, but I think that's about it. Yeah. It is now Saturday morning. I picked this trailer up last night. And then first thing this morning, I went over to my neighbors. Uh, they're putting in a... Uh, I'll tell you that later. But I'm clearing a bunch of trees over there. And I was working there this morning. And I had to come home hang out with Hunter a little bit while Melissa's at the gym. When she gets back, we're going to go knock some more trees over, and that'll be the next video. You'll see that uh, probably tomorrow or something. But anyway, uh, trailer should work out good, and uh, thanks for watching. Like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.